In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase at a snail's pace. Now, I'm not going to tell you what this means right away. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about this. If you know what a snail is, there's a good chance you know what a snail's pace is. So let me just go one, two, three, let you think about it for three seconds. It means to go very, very slowly. If you're driving your car in an 80 kilometer an hour zone, and the person in front of you is doing 60 kilometers an hour, you would say that they're going at a snail's pace. Do you know what a snail is? It kind of looks like a slug, but it has a shell on the back and it goes really, really slowly when it moves. Um, I hope my mom's not watching this, but sometimes when I uh, ride with my mom, she goes at a snail's pace. She's a very slow and cautious driver. So that's probably a good thing. But when I'm in a hurry, if someone in front of me is going really slow, especially if they're below the speed limit and they're going at a snail's pace, it gets me a little bit agitated. I'm like, just get going, man. It's time to go. I need to get to where I'm going. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is to pace yourself. You can pace yourself in a number of different things. If you're running a race and you normally take a certain amount of time to run a kilometer, you want to make sure that you pace yourself and you run each kilometer about the same speed, maybe the last kilometer a little faster. But you can pace yourself doing other things as well. If you're going to eat a big meal, maybe you should pace yourself. Instead of eating really fast, maybe eat slowly, have some conversation, eat a little bit more. You might need to pace yourself to get it done. If you have a lot of work to do in a certain day or week, it's nice to pace yourself. Instead of working really quickly, just kind of lay out the work for the week in a logical way and get it done one little bit at a time until the end of the week comes and you're done. It's nice to pace yourself. So to review, at a snail's pace means to go very, very slowly. And to pace yourself means to kind of um, do something in a organized, logical, timely fashion. I had a lot of work to do this week, but I paced myself and I got it all done. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Sylvia. Seven years ago, you took your camera and started to make lessons. You have succeeded. You have a special natural style. When I see your videos, I feel like a Canadian friend is sharing with me his daily life. Double dipping is not polite and is considered gross here in Argentina too. That's from the last lesson yesterday's. Yeah, seven good years. Here's to seven more. You think I can do it? Seven more years? Can you guys uh, watch for seven more years? Seven more years of me showing you the river whenever it floods. This, uh, this is a rare occasion. Um, if you look way in the distance, there's actually a lake over there at the provincial park, but uh, the river has almost risen so much that it might actually connect to the lake. I'm not sure how well you can see this behind me, but it's definitely flooded. If we look over here, you'll see that these trees are actually in the water. So the river has really come up it's almost touching that big round concrete thing down there. That's one of the things we look at to kind of measure um, how much the river has come up. So definitely flooding. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, Walter was just doing his business over there. I'm not sure if you saw that as the video uh, swooped around. I'll have to make sure I don't step over there when I'm finished making this lesson. Um, but yeah, seven more years, ah, we'll see. I think I got it in me. If I do this for 14 straight years, I think you'll all be uh, speaking English fluently and we'll be done. And then we'll just have like little live streams to chat once in a while or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Bob the Canadian. I teach English here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I think I just thanked you twice, but I'm extra thankful today. See you in a couple days with another short lesson. Bye.